So I've been looking at some bullion dealer websites over the past few hours trying to find a good price uh, for some bullion at these extremely low prices and I must say I've been quite taken aback by just the high premiums that are all over the online bullion dealers. Now normally when the prices come down uh, in such a large manner I would normally wait a few days just to see uh, just to see if premiums come down to try to get a better price on bullion but what I'm seeing is a lot of these websites are not uh, they're, they're not bringing their premiums down much I mean Atmex wants a good 29.28 for one ounce random year uh, or yeah here we go 2013 they want you know just under 30 bucks whereas the silver price is you know it's just under 24 so that's a good you know almost four dollar premium here that we're or sorry six dollar premium that we're seeing here on one ounce silver coins so let's just take a quick look at the rounds. Now rounds are definitely going to have a lot less of a premium. $27 for a one ounce secondary market silver round. So that's just insane. Honestly, it's, it's like the prices haven't even moved that much on the physical side. But this is Atmex. I have realized that Atmex does have a lot higher prices than some other dealers so we can see here they want 29 for their American Eagles let's see what Gainesville is asking for their American Eagles 28 so just a buck a buck cheaper so that's still a pretty significant uh, premium on you know one ounce coins that this isn't even a semi numismatic coin it's not anything special but then again I'm pretty sure this premium is due to the fact that uh, the American uh, or sorry the US Mint is having some issues restocking their American Eagles so maybe that's somewhat of the reason why the premium on the American Eagle is so high something that I have been waiting for for a while is sub thirty dollar pandas I really really like the 2013 design of the panda I believe the mintage on this coin is eight eight million eight million coins um, but you know Chinese pandas always have a great great semi numismatic premium going forward just because the design changes every year and the physical demand uh, coming out of the Eastern world is just unprecedented at this point in time. So the Chinese panda is something I'm definitely looking at picking up. If um, when I do decide to make an order, I still haven't made a significant physical order just because I'm deciding on whether or not I want to go with silver or whether I want to just continue sticking to gold because I'm I've switched my strategy from buying silver to buying gold so we'll see how that works out in the future I'm still waiting for the prices to come down as I've stated before I believe silver is going to come down to the $20 mark and gold is going to see the $1200 mark and possibly lower on both of these metals uh, this is pure speculation honestly don't take my word for it everybody is in, entitled to their own opinion I'm not really telling anybody what to do but this is kind of just what I feel like is going to be coming in the next months just because of how much you know overhead resistance there is I really can't see it getting or to rephrase what I was just about to say, I haven't, I'm not convinced that we've seen a, a bottom yet. I haven't seen this, you know, this iconic spike low that we've seen on many different occasions. We do have a spike right down here, down to the 20, what did it get down, like the 22 area, but I'm just not convinced that it is the bottom. So that's basically my rationale on why I'm waiting for some lower prices. But my question to you guys is,